In older versions of my view board, we used to require that the software be activated. To help make a better user experience, we've removed the requirement for activation. However, some entities might prefer to activate or enroll the My View Board software in their entity instance. Here's how you do it. First, you need to open My View Board and then find the settings icon in the top right corner. When you select this, it's going to open up the settings menu. And you can see here, the letter I, if we select that, there will be an option to enroll the software instance under Entity. We're going to go ahead and select that. And you'll see here that it gives us some instructions. So there's two ways that we can enroll the software into an entity. Uh, one is by using this QR code, which will require the My View Board companion app to be installed on your phone or device in order to utilize this. Or you can also enroll via a form. With the form, what you can do is name the software, so the room number maybe it's in, or the device that it's on, and then you need to input your entity email. So any email that is at your domain will automatically activate and register that software. So let's go back to the QR code way, and what we'll do is uh, we're gonna open up the My View Board companion app and you're gonna see that there's a QR code on there. Now remember, I'm signed in to my app using my admin email. We're then going to scan the QR code, and then it's going to allow us to name the device and then submit it. So we're gonna submit and close, and you're gonna see here that this software has now been activated. Once you have your My View Board software instance enrolled in your entity, let's take a look at how we can manage and create templates for those instances in MyViewBoard.com. So you can see here I'm already signed in to MyViewBoard.com, and I'm going to select this tile here called Entity Management. On the left side of the screen, you're going to see this option called Software Instances, so we're going to select that. It's gonna open up a new tab and then it's gonna show me all the enrolled My View Board softwares in my domain. Now on the instance list, I can come down and see some basic information. Uh, for example, I can see here that this instance is on uh, a Windows device. So you can see the Windows logo over here on the right. I can also see the last user who signed in and then other information like IP addresses and stuff like that. Now I can also control certain settings uh, of that software instance. So for example, I could uh, turn templates on and off, uh, enable, disable, local save, uh, the sign-in ability of my view board, uh, staying signed in, et cetera, et cetera. I can also apply a template to all these instances. So you'll see over here on the left, uh, in addition to being able to assign groups, I can create templates. And so if I go into the new template, we'll just call it test. And just like before, you can see here, we can configure all those different settings for the software instance. Uh, the allow stay side in instance uh, is actually a My View Board Windows only feature. So if a user has My View Board Windows, they have the ability to remain signed in uh, with their My View Board account. You can disable this or enable this, but this is not a feature on My View Board for Android or Mac or any of those other versions. You can also choose the default auto sign out time for the software. So uh, after a user has been inactive for a certain period of time, you can choose uh, if they are automatically signed out. Now the embedded browser option, this is sometimes uh, we get questions about what is the embedded browser. Uh, the embedded browser is actually the embedded uh, basically website browser inside the My View Board software. So it allows users to access websites inside the My View Board software. So just in case you wanna know what that is. Uh, select Add. Now you have a new template and we can set this, for example, as the default template or we can assign it to specific software instances. So again, in order to enroll the My View Board software, you have to do it from the settings. You can either scan the QR code or enter it by email. 
Once you have your software enrolled, you can go into myviewboard.com under entity management and then software instances, and then you can see information about your software as well as assigned profiles.